We're going to factorize this quadratic by using a method known as splitting the middle term. To do that, the first thing we're going to do is multiply the number which is multiplying the x squared, which is 8 here, with the number which doesn't have an x. In this case, that's negative 2. And we do this here. That's 8 times negative 2, which of course is equal to negative 16. Now the first, or rather the next thing we have to do, is to look into all the factors of negative 16. Now the factors of negative 16 can be positive or negative. So those factors are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 8, and plus or minus 16. Now that we've listed all these factors, our next job is to find two of them, which, which we'll call m and n, which, when we add them together, m plus n, have to equal to the number which is multiplying the x in our original equation, which was up here. So in that case, it's 6. So m plus n has to equal to 6. Also, we have to make sure that the two numbers we choose are such that when we multiply them together, m times n, it equals to this number here, that negative 16, which we found first of all. Okay, now the real way of doing this is by trial and error. And just by looking at these numbers and getting a feel for them, we can see that if we were to take m and n as 2 and 4, well, when we add them together, we'll definitely get 6, but there's no way that for us to multiply them and to reach negative 16. Because 2 times 4, or negative 2 times 4, or 2 times negative 4, in any case, it's, there's always going to be an 8 there. There won't be 16. So, after a bit of trial and error, we can come up with the numbers 8 and negative 2. And the reason for this is, if I write it here, if I write 8 plus negative 2, I definitely get 6. Also, if I multiply 8 times negative 2, I definitely get negative 16. So that definitely seems to be what we're looking for. This is going to allow us to split the middle term. Remember, our quadratic was 8x squared plus 6x minus 2. And what we're going to do now is write this as 8x squared plus 8x minus 2x minus 2. This is known as splitting the middle term. This term here, or rather these two terms, 8x minus 2x, are the same thing as this term above, that's 6x. And we found the 8 and the 2, or rather the 8 and the negative 2, using what we just did here. That's where we got them from. So, let me just rewrite this here to make it a little less cluttered. 8x squared plus 8x minus 2x minus 2. The middle term is now split, and we can move on to the next step. The next step is to focus on the first two terms, which I'll underline here in yellow, and we need to factor them. The highest common factor of these two terms is 8x. So I'll write this is equal to 8x times x plus 1. And we still have our last two terms here. Now that we've done this, we're going to factor the last two terms. Their highest common factor is negative 2. So we'll write 8x times x plus 1 minus 2 times x plus 1. And this is the perfect scenario here, meaning this is what we're aiming for. Now that we've got two terms and each of them is multiplying the same term in parentheses, which is x plus 1, we know we've sort of won the game. This is exactly where we want to be at. We can now write our final step as 8x, which I get here, minus 2, which I'm getting there, in parentheses, times x plus 1. And there we go. We have just factored this quadratic by splitting the middle term.